Hey guys, real quick, before we begin, uh, the face cam died during this video, but uh, this opening was really good. So yeah, I'm still gonna upload it as you guys can see. And uh, yeah, sorry about the face cam. It's been giving me a little bit of trouble, but I'm working on that and still working on the studio stuff. So hopefully big updates on that very soon. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video. What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut8610, and today I have a special opening for you guys, one I'm hoping that we're going to have some really good luck with, and that is a Yu-Gi-Oh! Brothers of Legend box. Yeah, this set actually has uh, some starlights in it, not quarter century, so I'm hoping maybe we can get one of those starlights. Remember, starlights I feel like are way tougher to get than quarter centuries. This one has, of course, the Astral Language uh, Leviathan, which I don't remember if I ever pulled that. I think I got the the Japanese version, but not like an English one. Uh, of course, you got Dragoon as well, which even though it came out already collection two as a quarter century, I still would like the Starlight. Dragoon is like one of the coolest cards ever. And then even we got some evil heroes in this. We got an adjusted gold, I believe. It's like a secret error, which has recently shot up in price because we now have new evil hero support. So yeah, that'd be fun to open this up and uh, see what we can get. But first, to keep the lights on and everything, I have a sponsor for today's video, so let's check with them real quick. This video is sponsored by Yesol. Yesol actually sent me one of their treadmills. They sent me the uh, T1M Plus treadmill, which as you guys can see right here, I'm putting it together and everything. Um, it was actually pretty easy to put together. I was kind of surprised by that. I figured this could be really difficult. I mean, I've never gotten a treadmill through the mail, basically, you know, I've always just got one that's already assembled, and it was actually really easy to put together. I was surprised. It didn't take me long at all. The instructions were actually very clear and all that, and uh, what's cool about this one is it actually has it where you can customize your own workout. With the screen that they have, it is a 1080p 21.5-inch uh, screen, and uh, with that, you're able to stream at different workouts, and you have unlimited free streaming with it. You just connect your phone up to it, whether it's Android or iOS. I have an iPhone and you can choose your workout. And if that was enough too, the sound quality was really nice because it had a, uh, let's see, six watt dual speakers that had a lot of bass and everything to them, so it sounded great. The treadmill is also a smart treadmill, so again, you have all of that data, you can monitor different things, and even a brushless motor. Don't like this product? They can also give you a full refund or even replacement of this product, which is nice. You don't have to worry about any of that, it's worry free, and uh, makes it nice that if you, for some reason are not happy with this product there you go get your money back or just replace it or whatever on that so let me know what you guys think about this treadmill if you ever used a treadmill before too i think you would really enjoy this one of course with black friday coming up and uh, just the holidays in general it could be a good gift for some people out there and honestly after having a kid i've gained some weight so i need to use this to exercise myself and uh, get into better shape so let me know what you guys think. Of course, link down in the description. That will help you save some money and everything and support the channel, which I'd greatly appreciate if you click on that. It'll take you to the website. Check it out for yourself. See, see what you think. Read the specs and all that too. And uh, yeah, again, simple to put together and still a very nice treadmill. So I, f I feel like that's a win-win. So let me know what you guys think. Again, thank you to Yes Soul for sponsoring today's video. And uh, yeah, check them out for yourselves. So yeah, that was our sponsor. Check them out. Link down in the description, like I said, and let's get going. Of course, sponsors keep the lights on and everything for us and uh, make it so I can be irresponsible and buy a bunch of packs. So <laughs> always a plus. Also, I'm trying out some different settings on the face cam to try to help from that brightness thing that I've been getting lately. Uh, we'll see if that works. I don't know. <laughs> like, I think it's the auto brightness or something that's been a little funky, but there's a lot of settings on my cameras lately, so uh, yeah, I'm just going to test them out, see what happens. Also, I think this might be the UK box, if I'm not mistaken, so we'll see if that matters. Maybe that gives us our good luck. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I have better luck with the UK versions than English. You know what? Let me fix that face cam real quick before we get going. All right, there we go. I changed a few more settings, so anyway, let's go ahead and get to the opening. If face cam doesn't work, whatever, okay? <laughs> I want to see what we got. Don't want it to mess up my opening here. All right. Lure of Darkness. Shooting Star Dragon. Holy crap. First pack. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I see something here. Uh, Dr. D. Silent Sea Nettle and... Dragoon? Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> Holy crap. First one. <laughs> People are going to think now I, I messed with my settings and I said that. Was, oh, man. <laughs> You're just going to have to trust me, I guess. Wow, dude. 
that is one I needed for the collection, because I, I know it gets to technically matter if you have the Japanese version or not, because it's Astro Language either way, obviously, but I, I want both versions, you know, I, I really do, and I did get the Utopia the other day, you know, the Astro Language, so I, I wanted this one, and I'm hoping we're going to get more in the future, I mean, there's so many, I'd like to have all the numbers eventually with the Astro Language, but... That is insane! I can't believe we got that! That is one of the pricier cards I said. That probably paid for the box for me, basically. So, yeah! I, I can't believe that. Well, right after I had to pause to, to fix my camera, of course, that's when you get the really big card. Then everyone's like, well, totally fixed. It's all green screen. Cyber was AI the whole time. No. AI would do a better job than me. So, ha! Wait. I think I just hurt myself. <laughs> I can't believe we start off with that, though. That is sick. All right, well, let's see what else we can get. Okay, Underworld Squire. Got Thought Ruler, which is good. I love that Kribo art. And we got a ZS Utopic Sage. Pretty good XC. I can't believe that, though. The cards are a little warped, too. You can tell. I think that happens with a lot of UK printing. Heavy Book fixes it. Uh, actually, the Leviathan, though, is in great shape. I don't notice it having really any warpage, so even better. Ice Barrier, let's see, we got Beatrice, which banned now, uh, Red Eyes Fusion, we got Rink Up Magic, and Wing Requital. Can't believe that, though. <laughs> now that's how you start an opening, right there. You mess with the camera for half an hour, and then you get your, your, uh, well, Astral Language card, which is also kind of like a Starlight, really, so a little bit of both. Ice Knight, Curry Boo, Zexal Catapult, Icebound God, and at number 99. Utopia Dragonair. I like that one quite a bit, too. I like my Utopia forms. It's always a fun deck to use. Okay, Right Hand Shark. Number 39, Utopia. Curry B, Numbers Protection. And Alter Guys, uh, was it uh, Fuji Alert? So one I always want to, I, I think, like, call it Fajita Alert. I don't know why. I, my brain is stupid. I have problems. A lot of problems. <laughs> and for some reason, I always want to call it something stupid. Uh, let's see. We got uh, Ragged Gloves, one of the Phantom Knights, Dollhouse, Dr. D, then Thought Ruler, and D Force. Always like this set, though, too. Give us some really interesting stuff. All right. Hidden Fangs of Revenge, Shooting Star Dragon, uh, F.A. Uh, Fighting Spirit, basically. Kaiju Capture Mission and Toy Parade. I know I'm trying to be more, you know, technical with that name. It's just Fighting Spirit. The A.I. cards are always interesting with their names. Sylphid Wing. Kuriba. Uh, let's see. Ice Mirror. Decatron. And a, a Cold Dizone, which I think is actually kind of an interesting card. I don't know if it was reprinted, but uh, yeah. I feel like it has usefulness to it. Fossil Dig, Interrupted Kaiju Slumber, I still get annoyed by that card. Uh, Numbers Protection, Excabeetle, and Lyric uh, Bird Strike. Yeah, I already got my uh, Starlight, so I'm happy right now. I, I don't even know what to ask for. I guess just maybe if I can get a couple of Adjusted Golds, that'd be good. So, yeah, I wouldn't mind some extras. <laughs> Zexal Zex Catapult, bleh. Uh, Dollhouse, see, I can't speak. Penguin Sword. Uh, why not Arsenal's in my O and Forbidden Droplet? Hey, I remember that being one of the big reprints. Of course, now you can get this. What it was like in like Legendary Duelist, and then of course Rarity Collection and stuff. So it's not that tough to get anymore. But uh, I remember that being one of the bigger reprints. For some reason, they like reprinted it so many times. I guess it makes it easier to get in the end. So sure, why not? But it just seems funny to me. That pack was weird. Uh, Deal of Destiny, Ice Knight, White Mirror. Fossil Dig, and Speedroid Scratch. Some of the Speedroid stuff might be better to have now, too, because we know in Supreme Darkness they're getting new support. So, might be really good. I don't know. The new stuff looks cool. Curryborn, I Fighting Spirit, Allure of Darkness, which is always good, Horse Four Knights, and number 89, Mind Hacker. I believe he's still banned. Here it comes back, though. Yeah. He's a freaking good XC, anyway. One of the best numbers, I feel like. Might be a couple of reasons why he's banned, you know? <laughs> Uroboros Sage, Dr. D, Silent Sea Nettle, uh, Gadara, which is the Mystery Dust Kaiju, and then Starving Venomy Dragon. I always wish those would be more useful. 
the different like forms of the Dimension Dragons. I feel like you don't really see them ever used in anything though. Wish you could like use them all in Odd Eyes or something. Hidden Fangs of Revenge, Ice Barrier, Horse for Laurel Knights, Curry Babylon, and we got our Fajita. <laughs> Altergeist Fajita. I remember Curry Babylon actually being really tough for me to get from this set when it first came out. Like, I think it was my third or fourth box. I finally got one. And it's just like a random, like, ultra in the set. But still, for some reason, he was tough for me to get. Excabeetle, Mystery Dust Kaiju, Curry Boo, Curry Born, and there's our boy, which I kind of like that UK printing a little better. Evil Hero Adjusted Gold. Very nice. Actually, when I got this box, too, I forgot he was in it, and that was just a happy little accident. Of course, he kind of went up in price around the time, like, right before, or, no, right after I bought this box. So, I didn't really think about it anyway on that. So, yeah. I don't remember if I still have my playset of these, because in the regular hero builds these days, you don't use playset. But in the evil hero build, it kind of looks like you're probably going to use three of them. So, I don't mind having some extras, because I don't know if I still have all three. And I want to build evil heroes, so I'm a sucker for heroes. Capture mission, what we got? I show, uh, research M X C Utopia, and Nibiru, which was a pretty big reprint on this too. Again, rarity collection, I know, I know. You're going to open up a lot of the older stuff, well, you know, I guess earlier 2020 kind of stuff. You're going to get a lot of stuff that was reprinted in rarity collection, but still a great card anyway, so, you know, either way you do it. Remember that being a big reprint. Okay, we have, uh, let's see, Summon Storm, Right Hand Shark, Fossil Dig, Ice Mirror, and Toy Parade. Keep looking at my shiny card over there, sorry. <laughs> I'm mesmerized. Just the gold's pretty, too, to look at. Okay, we got a Rank Up Magic, Left Hand Shark, Icebound God, Zexelfield, and we got uh, Ultra Guys uh, Pakuri. I actually went against Ultra Guys the other day. They were pretty tough. It was Master Duel as well. And uh, it was like that event that they had going. I'm going to date this video right now. But uh, where it was like Lynx, Synchro, or... Crap, what was the other? Uh, Fusions. And uh, yeah, someone actually used them against me. So it's kind of interesting. I didn't duel against them that much. Soul Binding Gate. Kuriba. Kuribo. Appliancer. And then we got our Noble Knight's Shield Bearer, which I don't like that card. I don't... He, he's not really a Noble Knight, so I, I don't like how he's, like, taking the name. <laughs> you know? It's like, technically, you know, actually, he, he's not a, a Noble Knight. <laughs> Detonate, Five Star Twilight, Noble Knight Spear Holder, same thing. So, yeah, don't make me do it again. Uh, Allure of Darkness, and Before of How Curry Bull. That one is adorable. That's probably my favorite of the little Kribo forms. <laughs> the mini ones we have. It's like a little tail and I like his hat. Uh, Hyper Rank Up Magic Utopia Force. Kribe. Sylphid Wing. Planter Propellion. And then also uh, Grandpa de Meadow. We got only a few packs left. Can we get another Adjusted Gold? Because again, I when I was looking through some of my bulk cards, I think I only had one. So... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I might need a couple. Shooting Star, Astral Utopia, Curry Babylon, uh, Uroboros Sage, and Rebirth Judgment, which I always thought was like a really cool looking card. But I think we're down to two packs. Part of the cards. Again, there's like no pressure really, because the first pack was amazing. <laughs> Deal of Destiny, I love it when they start off that way. Detonate, Void Feast, Nomad Spear Holder, and Double Exposure, which is honestly a pretty good card, so... And last one. Can we end with that adjusted gold, I guess, right? I'm going to ask for something. Might as well. White Mirror, which is actually a really stupid card. It's so good. Uh, Cypher Interference. Uh, Resurgium XC. Eda Heavenly Squire. And... Ah, Dragonroid. I was thinking maybe we were going to get it just right there. But Dragonroid is honestly kind of interesting, too. If you go with the Roid cards, not bad. So yeah, I'll call that box a win because these two cards uh, made it worth it for me, especially getting an Astral uh, Leviathan. That's awesome. And our camera is still being bright, so I guess I didn't fix anything in the end. Oh well, <laughs> it's still doing. I just noticed as I looked up, I like went so white, I was like a ghost. But anyway, yeah, 
I, maybe it brought us good luck. I don't know. But thank you guys for watching. Got some amazing cards. Check out the sponsor too. Like I said, they help keep the lights on and help us be able to do awesome openings like this. So check out that link. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.